Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Journey to 30. This is episode 49. We're still in Juanjo. I hope you guys are enjoying how I'm taking little flashbacks uh, of my day and continuing our journey in China. As I said, I've been recording continuously over the past weeks. So once we get up, caught up with the content, you guys will be able to follow what's going on in today's time. But for now, we're gonna let you see what happened in China again. Welcome to another episode. Hope you guys enjoy this journey. Today, we woke up to some snow. It was snow everywhere. It's about 11 a.m. right now, and we're on our way to the office. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Got a little slidey there. Gotta be careful. Worked this morning doing some logistical things, and uh, gonna start having the team edit the video. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna drive safe. towards the silk museum we're gonna learn about the silk industry here in China and how it's come a long way we're actually going to an area where the bus is not allowed to go which is kind of weird and um, which means we're gonna have a lot of walking and yeah let's have a good day tall guy in China What do you expect to see here? Lots of silk. Lots, lots of history of silk. Lots of I history of silk. Worms doing a lot of work. <laughs> worms working? Worms working. <laughs> like a dove or a flag. Come on. This one was newly built, just opened this year. In May. In May, yeah. So we're gonna start from here. Later we're gonna come out from here. Yeah. And this one shop behind. Shop behind. If you wanna buy some trip products, there, yeah. The quality is guaranteed. So we're gonna start from I walk in here and see this, there are no surprises. I'm appreciative of the fact that I can see my destiny unwind ahead of me, in front of me, every single day. Um, you know, the things I learn, the things I see, I notice. My eyes are open, my ears are open. I've been saying this for months. I've been saying this for years. This is my life motto. And somehow, I just end up in the face of it. New knowledge on ancient roads, or as I say it, new ideas to traditional techniques, to traditional ideas, new thinking to old, um, honorable ways. That's how we do it.
Yes. Nasa Silk Road, worldwide. Clouds and dirt, baby. Clouds and dirt. What's up everybody, so I just got done having lunch. We're actually in one of the areas that has the finest green tea all across China. Very mountainous area. I'll show you guys the, the, green, tr the green tea plants on our way back out of the city. spot we've been to yet. This is one of the coolest prototype cities that I have seen ever. Honestly, huge. You see how big this is? This is literally filling up the whole This is supposed to be for one of Quando technologically advanced future sustainable cities. Amazing.
day and we had that great, great, great fish that was kind of cooked right in front of us in, as a, in a broil, which was really amazing. It reminded me of a Louisiana style, um, you know, kind of broil, shrimp, crawfish, etc. But we had it uh, as fish. It was really good. Right now we're just uh, walking down the street. Uh, kind of me and uh, a friend of mine, Nabil, and one of the two of the instructors. Just, uh, just kind of got away from the group, walking now and enjoying our time here. Just want to thank you guys for watching that episode, episode 49. Stay tuned for some more videos as we finish exploring China. See you guys on the next episode. Salam.